to pre-order or not to pre-order, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer, okay, sorry. The other question is to buy Super Citizen Edition or not to buy Super Citizen Edition. <laughs> and whilst that does not roll off the tongue at all, both of these questions are exactly what this video is about. Should you pre-order Helldivers 2 and should you buy the Super Citizen Edition? So let's get into it and answer both of those incredibly important questions. Okay, so our first question, should you pre-order Helldivers 2? Well, first up, let's take a look at everything you'll receive if you do pre-order it. Basically, you'll be receiving all three of these armor sets here. This kind of lame one, this thinks he's cool but probably isn't one, and this super badass one. <clears throat> My favesies. So there are a few really important things you need to know about these armor sets. Firstly, they are not available in-game without pre-ordering. So if you miss the pre-order window, which ends when the game is released on February 8th, you won't be able to get them in the future. Second, these armor sets do not offer anything unique, other than their design, that you cannot get in the game for free. In other words, there is no pay to win or pre-order to win of any kind here. These pre-order armor sets don't offer any advantage at all over other armor sets in game. The unique quality that they give you is purely cosmetic. And the third point is, uh, hold on a second, I'm just waiting for Baskin to get back to me on it. Um, whether or not these armor sets are light, medium, or heavy, or maybe they're all medium, I'm not really sure yet. So if I was able to find out, you'll see it on screen now. So should you pre-order or not? Well, I should preface this question by saying I completely understand the hesitancy that many gamers feel in pre-ordering games. I myself pretty much never pre-order, and this is simply due to the insane number of times us gamers have been burned by developers over-promising and under-delivering. So pre-ordering honestly just seems like a horrible idea most of the time. However, in this case, I feel totally comfortable with it. And there's a few reasons for this. One is just that I trust the developer Arrowhead Game Studios a lot. After all, they're the ones who made Helldivers 1, one of my all-time favorite games, and Magicka as well, a game that I spent countless hours in and I think is one of the most unique and fun multiplayer games I've ever played. And to me, anyone who can make those masterpieces cannot possibly make a single mistake. Okay, maybe I'm biased, but uh, whatever, it is what it is. But other than that, I'm just extremely confident that the game will be good. All of the trailers look insane. The developers sound incredibly passionate about their game and seem to really get it. My favorite stratagem in Helldivers 2 is the Gatling Sentry a killing machine unleash its devastating firepower into a swarm of enemies is truly a wondrous sight. And the gameplay footage, which we just got a whole bunch of today, just confirm absolutely everything I suspected. This game looks freaking awesome. And I guess if I had to add one more reason that I'm totally comfortable pre-ordering, it's just that if I don't like the game, I'll just refund it. As a PC player buying on Steam, I've got a two hour or two week window in order to refund. So if the game does end up blowing, I'll just get a refund. Apparently this isn't possible on PlayStation. I don't know I'm not a PlayStation player. So if you're on PlayStation, maybe hold off on pre-ordering if you're not 100% sure. Before we get into the next section, a huge shout out to ExpressVPN. If you've ever wanted to play games in a different region or browse the web securely, ExpressVPN is how you do it. I can tell you from experience it 100% works and honestly, the ping's actually decent too. And right now, every single MOGS viewer is gonna get a huge discount of three months off all 12 month subscriptions, meaning it just got a whole lot cheaper for you to jump into a different region and destroy your opponents over there. How good is that? So go check out ExpressVPN via the link on screen and in the video description. 
Okay, so now onto our next question. To buy Super Citizen Edition or not? Well, again, let's go over exactly what you're gonna receive in Super Citizen Edition. I don't really wanna say Super Citizen anymore. <laughs> Basically, all of this stuff here is unique to the Super Citizen Edition, and you can only get it if you buy it for real money. You can buy this edition when you pre-order, or you can do it after the game releases. Oh, and just a note that there's a glitch on Steam where you can't actually do the upgrade after already buying the pre-order. So if you're in this case, as I am, you'll have to wait until after launch to do it. But don't worry, you won't miss out on anything. But yeah, this is all the stuff that comes with this edition that you cannot get any other way in game. And it includes this armor set, a cape, a submachine gun, super citizen status, which is just like a title for your username, and this stratagem hero ship game, which no idea what this actually is, but my guess is that it's like one of these consoles that you see in the trailers. I'd say the idea of this mini game is to practice your stratagem sequences. So like Guitar Hero, but for stratagems. That's just my guess, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely right. <laughs> and then there's this stuff here, which is the Steeled Veterans Premium War Bond. This is also given to Super Citizen players, but it will also be obtainable in game via Super Credits after launch. And again, just like the pre-order items, this armor is just cosmetically different from what you'll find in game. There's no pay to win here. The submachine gun I'm not entirely sure about, but based on everything else, my guess is that there will also be a version of this that we can get in game that just has a different look. But performance wise, it'll be the same. I'll try to get confirmation from the devs on this after recording this video. And if I can get a reply, I'll put it on screen. So should you get the Super Citizen Edition? Well, I think that's totally up to you. For me personally, I really wanna play the Stratagem Hero game. That's kind of my main draw, to be honest. So for that, I'm gonna buy it. But I'm a Helldivers 2 YouTuber, and so I really wanna get all of the content that's out there. If I wasn't a YouTuber, I don't think I'd be buying this. And I'd probably wait until I had a friend that had the Ship Hero game, and then I'd probably just play it on his ship. Not sure if you can do that, but you probably can. And that's it guys, that's my video about whether you should pre-order and whether you should get the Super Citizen Edition. Looking forward to never saying Super Citizen again. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys to make a decision on which of these two to buy or whether to get both of them or neither. If it was, hit the like button and let me know how helpful it was down in the comments. If it wasn't helpful, feel free to hit the dislike button and tell me how bad the video was down below. But as always guys, subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. The other question is to buy Super Citizen Edition. The other question is to buy Super Citizen. The other question is to buy Super Citizen. I just cannot say it. God. Super Citizen Edition. Super Citizen Edition. Okay. The other question is to buy Super Citizen. The other question is to buy Super Citizen Edition or not to buy Super Citizen Edition. Super